everybody. This is Jessica Rutia with Stamp a Blessing. I'm super excited to be back with my videos after a long summer and practically nothing done. Anyway, um, who had a wonderful summer? I did, I did, and it was absolutely awesome, but all my routines went on the floor. So today I wanna come to you showing you one of the things that I did to come back into my creative self. During summer, I was extremely busy. I just did so many fun things with the family, but every time I try to create, I really had no time. Anybody that happened to you, happened to me. So how did I get out of that creative um, being stuck? I was just stuck. I found some time, the fall is coming, September started, and I'm like, I'm going to create, and then I had no idea what to do. So. What I did is I prayed, I checked, what can I do? And you know what, this idea came to me about starting with either a pattern or a sketch or something that I really liked. And one of the things and ideas that came was wreaths. And uh, three wreaths communicate a lot of beautiful things and you see them everywhere and believe me, now I see them absolutely everywhere. But I wanna show you one I made and I want you to make it with me. It's right here. And this one was done with the lots of love. So you would have think that I was gonna make a wreath with a wreath stamp set, which is okay. But in this case, I decided to make a wreath with a stamp set that brought some leaves, brought some flowers, but it's not really made to make wreaths, or at least I haven't seen any out there. I decided to make this one and look how cute it turned. So follow me, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to start you with the simplest way to start a wreath. You will need a circle um, shape. It could be a cup, it could really be anything. I decided to use my Layering Circle Sprainless die since I already had them. And this one in particular is the two and five eighth inches um, size and I just measure that for the purpose of the video for those who want to be absolutely specific following my instructions. But to make this card, the first thing that I did is I made a circle, and in this case, I'm just gonna make it a little bit to the left with a light pencil, just any pencil. I took one from my kids, as you can see. I'm just gonna do a light circle around here, okay? There you have it. You can see the little circle. That's all that you need right now. And you're gonna get your stamp set. And the way I started my wreath was the, with the lightest color first. And I went for the double leaf, as you can see, is this one right here. I went with a double leaf, double leaf. Oh dear, my English. And I used Sahara Sand um, ink pad from Stamping Up. And I went ahead and started stamping. So I just stamped on the border and I sort of follow around that edge that I created. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect and you'll see why, it really, it doesn't matter. As long as you follow that circle right there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna bother if it's perfect or not. And I'll be honest with you, when I started making the wreaths, I was not so excited with the end of design at first. I was like, uh, what am I supposed to do now? But it was really cute because I started, for example, I'll show you the first one I made. I made this card with Garden Bloom, I think is a stamp set. And honestly, I'm not in love with a card, but it worked, okay, got me started doing my wreath. And I did a little um, something on the, on the back of the envelope. And then I decided to do some Christmas cards. And hey, Swirly Bird and the Swirly Framelits really help. So I started with this other wreath, as you can see, and I also stamped pretty my stamp set, but I was not totally in love with it until I got to this stamp set, so I'm really excited with this. I just got a little wipey and clean my, my stamp sets. This is a very quick way to do it. I dry it on the paper or placemat, and I'm gonna go for the next color, and the next color that I decided to use is actually Lemon Lime Twist, and with Lemon Lime Twist, I did exactly the same thing. I went around adding a little bit more leaves, like this, a few more in my circle so you can see hopefully you can see very well in there going around and going around and filling my I think that's enough don't you think yep that's pretty good and now I'm going to use 
actually, I when I did this card, I used the Tranquil Tide next, and I left my other additions for later with the so, so, um, so saffron color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my, I'm drying it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, Tidal Tide. It's a very strong green, but I really like it. And when this happens, I don't like it. Did you see what happened to my, to the border of my rubber stamp? I love rubber stamps compared to the photopolymers. Don't get me wrong, I love both, but I really like how it feels when I stamp with this one. The only thing is I have to be very careful not to stamp on my on my little borders there you go so now I'm going ahead and going around you see I started with a lighter lighter color and now I'm placing the darker color around to so that it looks full and not so empty I really really like using this this stamp set it's really cute cute leaves just just sort of neat I don't know and it doesn't really matter if they overlap because that's the idea that they actually overlap I'll clean this with my little wipey put it on the side and now last but not least I'm going to use my so saffron color and I'm going to find some of the other um let me see I used this one particularly several times going around that's what I use so I'm going to get that one which is I'm sorry I didn't show it to you but it's right here and I'm just gonna add some yellow to my you see how stamping on top of that green doesn't really even show and I'm gonna twist this to the other side so that I can see some of that yellow coming through I put it over there and I'll put a little bit over here and maybe one coming out through here. Oh, I'm gonna twist it and go here. What do you think? Pretty, right? Okay, so we have a wreath practically done and what I want you to do, I want you to get excited about looking through some of your stamp sets and creating your own wreath. It doesn't have to be lots of love. It can be any other stamp set that you have that has uh, leaves and flowers. So last part for my, my wreath here, I'm gonna decorate the side. And what I did is that previously I stamped some of the flowers and some of the leaves in so saffron in a scrap piece of paper. And I'm gonna cut them now. I did two of the leaves and um, actually I should have done three. I did two, ha ha. So I'll do another one of this ones. And I have two of the flowers I have two of the other blossoms in here and some leaves. I will um, fuzzy cut those and then I'll be back and we'll put them together, okay? Oh, I also did the lots of love because I want that love right in black up there, okay? So get go get your scissors. Okay, so I'm back and what I did is that I cut all, I did all my fuzzy cutting. I cut the love, I cut the little blossoms and the flowers and my leaves and I really like them. So I will be using my liquid glue. I will be using a little bit of dimensionals and whatever else I have at hand. And at this point, I'll just start with this one. I'm gonna start with this. I have a little mess here. You see, I, it's not as inked on the bottom. So I'm going to just, come on glue. Come out, come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> In camera, love it, love it. Okay, we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one because that, one, that one's not working for me. So I'm gonna put it around here. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to put this one with a dimensional. So I'll go ahead and put a dimensional behind this one because I want it to pop out a bit more. So you can see, I'll put it right there. And then this other one, you know, since my tumble is not helping me, I'm just gonna grab a glue dot and I'm gonna put them right here. And uh, I like things popping out a bit, so I'll just put it right there because I want my love to go on top of all of that. And to do that, I'm actually gonna use my dimensionals. So I'm gonna cut some of my dimensionals in half. So they're a bit thinner in some areas. Maybe this one fits right in the 
E, yes it does. And uh, I have my L right here. Let's see how I can put this. Just cut them. Yep, looks nice. So I'm gonna take the backing. Ta -da -da, ta -da 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 -da. I love the meaning of wreath. Wreath, uh, you can find wreaths everywhere really. And from the welcoming one at the door or the ones um, that are given to winners when they win a race. I love that. And also I've seen them, um, where else have I seen them? I've seen them on, on funeral homes, you know, when we say goodbye. Or there's so many ways that you can use a wreath. And this one is just going to go full of love. So I'm going to place this here with a dimensional. I'm putting it under, as you can see. I'm going to twist this a bit and put it under the word love right here i think that works yes it works and now i'm gonna start putting my leaves but i really need my glue my liquid glue i really like my liquid glue to do this because i can move them around so i'm gonna put this one here and i think i'm gonna do it with glue okay i got another glue since this one is not coming up for some weird reason and i'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of my leaves just on the dot, a dot right there and i'll I'll put them where I want them to go. But I like to lift them up a bit. So it kind of gives more life to the wreath when they're lifted. I like that. So you can do this with anything that you have. And uh, if this is the one that you want, you know, if you want this stamp set, I am so excited because I want to see you creating with what you have. So I'm going to motivate you a little bit. I want you to visit my Facebook group, um, Stamp a Blessing. It's a group you have to join to be able to see everything, but you can join today, Stamp a Blessing um, Facebook group. I'll put the link below this video because I'm going to do a challenge for September. I want everybody to be making wreaths, everybody that I know and that is watching this video. I want to encourage you to use what you have, make a pretty wreath and share a message of love with others. Just share it, share it, be an encourager. There's too many critics out there and we really need to bring others up, lift others up and not be fighting. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to finish this card real quickly. I don't know if, da da da, I love using this glue. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna make a mat with basic black. And then I'm going to glue that. And this, this wreath, I love it so much. I'm not gonna put anything else on it. You know, if you are into bling, just put a lot of bling, put sequences, put many things. But I really like these colors together. I really like how everything turned out and I'm just gonna leave it simple. So you can make a simple wreath with a wreath stamp set that you have not used in forever or you can just go find one of your leaves and uh, in one of your stamp sets and make a circle like I did today. You can do anything you want. And in order to motivate you to get creative, to get out of the rat, you know, out of, the, of that place of not knowing where to start i just want you to start creating today okay i want you to get your stamps out to find what you like and if wreath is your thing today it, that is my challenge is go make a wreath with whatever you have i want you to be able to post it on my facebook um page and also tag it with stamp um hashtag stamp a blessing challenge that's gonna be it and I'm gonna start making some challenges monthly and whoever wins you are going to win a stamp set like lots of love I'll be sending it to you or any stamp set of similar price or lower okay from the stamping up catalog I want to bless those around me I want to encourage you to do everything that the Lord is calling you to do and one of the things that's been on my mind is you know just share with others share um this this last uh, week the lord's been really ministering to my heart about wisdom about wisdom being supreme like it says in proverbs wisdom being supreme and just um being a priority and then i was studying first corinthians one and i found that hey jesus christ has been made my wisdom my righteousness my holiness my redemption it's just amazing so you see we have the inside done while i'm here talking but I want you to seek his wisdom. We live in very hard days and I know that God cares for you. I want you to seek wisdom, to seek Jesus Christ today. He is our peace. And I know that we all are in need of peace. He cares for you. 
He cares for what you feel. He cares about your creativity. He cares about the things that you do. I encourage you today to seek wisdom. Proverbs, I'll read to you Proverbs. Chapter four says, wisdom is supreme. Therefore, get wisdom. Though it costs all you have, get understanding. Jesus is our wisdom. Seek him, even if it costs you everything. Seek him. He will set a garland of grace on your head and present you with a crown of splendor. Garlands, crowns, wreath has such a message. I want to encourage you today to make a wreath with anything that you have at home and go to my Facebook page or Facebook group, I should say, and share it and tag it with Stamp a Blessing, Stamp a Blessing, hashtag Stamp a Blessing Challenge. That would be awesome. At the end of the month, I will be announcing a winner and I'm so excited to do this. I've never done this before, but I want to encourage you really because God cares about your creativity and he cares about you. Go to stampablessing.com. I would love to hear from you. Leave me some comments below or just hit the thumbs up. That would even bless me too because I know that you liked it. God bless you a bunch. I love having you here today. Again, this is Jessica Rutia with Stamp a Blessing. Bye-bye.